Hello everyone, you're watching the full review of Lama Iris X5 and I'm Gogi from Gogi.in. The Iris X5 is an upgraded version of the Lava Iris X1 handset. It houses the same hardware. Here is a quick look at the specifications. 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, 5-inch screen with HD resolution, 8 megapixel rear autofocus camera with BSI plus sensor and dual LED flash. Front camera is of 5 megapixel resolution with LED flash. There is 1GB RAM, 8GB internal storage, external card support of up to 32GB. This handset runs Android KitKat out of the box and the battery is 2100mAh capacity. I got a 16GB microSD card for free but this offer might not be available now. Inside the box you will find the Lava Iris X5, travel charger, data cable, screen guard, earphone, here is the call button and the mic and a closer view of the earplug. X5 user manual, battery of 2100mAh capacity and the final content is a good quality flip cover. This is made up of artificial leather, the build quality is very good as you can see here. And it comes with its own back panel. Here is the handset, the Lava Iris X5. Build quality is very good, it's grey colour with matte finish. The handset is slim and has got a very premium look. Micro USB port and 3.5mm audio jack are placed on the top. The power button is placed on the right side and the volume rockers on the left. This is the first mic and the secondary mic, dual mics for noise cancellation. On the rear there is the speaker out vent, lava logo and the Iris X5 text. The back panel almost covers up the handset. And there are two layers as you can see here. Let's open up this handset. The back panel is made up of good quality plastic. This is a dual SIM handset, one of the SIM supports 3G, it's a normal SIM and uh, there is the micro SD card slot and this is the micro SIM. The handset weight with battery is 134 grams, it is 7.68 mm thick, the breadth is 71.43 mm and the length is 143.92 mm. This is visible on the screen from certain angles. Let's power on this device, it's running Android KitKat. Three touch sensitive buttons. On the top you'll find the in-call speaker, the LED flash for the front camera, sensors and the front camera. Here is the lock screen and here is the home screen. The touch is smooth and responsive, however the handset does lag at times. The dedicated buttons, they do light up. Here is the phone dialer and as you can see video calling option is supported. Office suit, torch, translate and WhatsApp came pre-installed. Here is the quick setting options. The viewing angles are ok. Wi-Fi direct, Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering are supported. There is dual SIM smart on as well as cast screen options. There is power saving mode that will help you disable these features that consume a lot of power. There is built-in GPS. Hindi language is supported. You can select the primary storage. I have set it to the external card. I will need to reboot the system. Of the 8GB internal storage, 3.54 GB is allocated for apps and uh, 2. 49 GB is allocated as the phone storage. Here is the free space for apps, 3.3 GB free and of the 1 GB RAM, you get around 605 MB free on the first boot. I have connected an external pen drive and as you can see, OTG is supported. I have now attached the flip cover. As you can see, it gives a very good look to the handset and it's a magnetic flip cover. When you open up the flip, the screen switches on automatically. 
This flip cover looks really good and it gives a very premium look to the handset. There is volume markings on the flip cover, the plus and the minus sign as you can see. You can adjust the volume without opening up the flip. System information, ARM Cortex-A7 1.2 GHz, it's quad core using the Broadcom chipset with video core 4 HW GPU. The handset is running Android 4.4.2 with screen resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels over a 5 inch screen. And there are three sensors, accelerometer, light and proximity. The time is 11.31, battery at 92% and the temperature at 30 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 4750. Antutu score is 12631. Vilamo benchmark score Metal 615, Multi Core 869, Browser 1054. Nina Mark 2 33.6 FPS, which is pretty low, and this handset supports. 5 point multi touch. Let's check out the camera. Both the cameras come with LED flash support. There is dual LED flash on the rear and a single LED flash on the front. It's an autofocus camera, and here are the three modes still shot, video, and panorama. Tap and hold the screen to unveil the settings option. Go to the picture size and uh, you can shoot still images in 8 megapixel resolution. You can shoot videos in 720p resolution in full screen preview size. Front camera is 5 megapixel and it does come with an LED flash as you can see for better selfies. I am recording a video now and if you tap the screen you can shoot images while the video recording is on. This video got recorded in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. There is LED notification and this is how it looks. After 35 minutes the battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 34 degrees. Wi-Fi is on and I have set the brightness to the maximum. I am going to play this video shot using the same handset in a loop. I played this video for about 29 minutes. The battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 35 degrees. And now let's check out some games. Modern Combat 4, this game got installed on the external storage. The gameplay is not very smooth as you can see. It is playable but you can clearly see it lagging. There is one more problem I encountered. I am sure you might have noticed it by now. Let's move on to the Asphalt 8. This game also got installed on the external storage. I have set it to the medium visual quality. The game is playable but it's not very smooth. After 20 minutes the battery dropped by 7% and the temperature is 36 degrees. As already mentioned, the Lava Iris X5 is an upgraded version of the Lava Iris X1. The X1 came with 4.5 inch screen with FWVG resolution, but this one comes with a 5 inch screen with 720p resolution. The hardware is the same, but the battery capacity on the X5 has been increased to compensate the screen size. This handset is available for a price tag of approximately 8500. The Lava Iris X1 was lag free, but the X5 you can clearly feel it lagging. It happens most of the time. You can expect the battery backup of about 4 to 5 hours, and I did find some issues with the MC4 game. Do visit my website to check out sample images and videos shot using this handset. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to share.